This is a review for the RV Guard water pressure regulator valve. And uh, anyway, I'm very impressed with the, they were packaged real well, the quality, they're nice and heavy, and I believe they were less than $25 a piece. Now previously, I'm not using them on an RV, I'm using them for a backyard irrigation system. And I was using these, and these were very good too. Uh, no adjustment on them, but limited flow. They had a 7 GPM flow limit, and though although it was working well, I decided to upgrade to these at the price. You know, you just can't can't beat it, really. And uh, so, uh, I believe they were preset at 40 psi. I'll just demonstrate how they work. Now, this is this is. Uh, Put on auto and then manual and you can watch the, the pressure starting out is 55 psi okay immediately drops to 20 and what i did i waited until everything filled up and then i adjusted the pressure here so that it would be roughly you know something under 30 psi because with thrip you really don't want a you know get it much over 25 or so 20 to 30 you know is usually okay but things can start popping much over that so uh, anyway I was just really pleased and you know wait till it all filled up and then I adjusted the pressure here you can see you can turn it down it seems to be stabilized here at about 25 psi and I can take it down by turning uh, counterclockwise if I if I chose you know take it down in case it seems excessive but I found you know I really like the way it worked and I'll, I'll take you around to the furthest out drippers to show you how how well they're doing now there's plenty of pressure here. There's a little mini sprinkler. We'll go around this way. Okay, here's another sprinkler on the persimmon tree. Pretty good spray. Uh, Okay, that's working fine. You got good flow, good flow. We'll go around this way. I mean, I think it was kind of marginal before, but now, and these are really good drippers here. If you can, you know, things have improved a lot since I started in farming in 1980 but those are adjustable, so you can almost turn them off completely or open them up. And of course you can tilt them, it's, you know, it probably ideally it should be level, but this is working okay. We'll go over here. That one's doing real well. They're all flowing very well. There's another one, again, you know, you can experiment with the positioning of these uh, drippers. Uh, but it, it's satisfactory. It's good enough. You want to get a good, a good moisture patch uh, at the roots, around, fully around the root zone as much as possible. So, anyway, very impressed. And I could increase the pressure if I chose, but that seems to be working well enough. And it's certainly somewhat, you know, more variable and adjustable than, than those were, which were just, you know, they were working okay, but I've, I've got better flow now. Okay, thank you.